Hi, beautiful people. You're welcome. Thank you so much for clicking. So, this man is going to explain to us why he feels there is Trinity in the Quran. Wow, I'm just hearing that for the first time. Based on his own research, he said he found Trinity in the Quran. And he's going to let us understand who are the Trinity based on the Quran and give us some evidence on it. So let's check it out. Unfortunately, the Quran's denunciation of the doctrine of the Trinity seems to be based upon a gross misunderstanding of that doctrine. First, a bit of history here. Early Christian creeds adopted the language of speaking of Mary as the mother of God because she bore Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, to someone who is not familiar with the theology of the early church fathers, such an expression as the mother of God is bound to be misleading. What the church fathers meant by this expression is that the person whose human nature Mary bore is a divine person. But Mary did not give birth to the divine nature of Christ. Okay. But she could be called the mother of God since Christ, whose human nature she bore, was a divine person. But Muhammad evidently thought that Christians believed in a trinity composed of God, Mary, oh. and their offspring, Jesus. Peace. It's no wonder that he was revolted by such a ridiculous doctrine. Muhammad's understanding of the Trinity is evident in passages such as the following found in the Quran. Mm. Quote, God will say, Jesus, son of Mary, did you ever say to mankind, worship me and my mother as gods besides God? Glory be to you, he will answer. I could never have claimed what I have no right to. Or again, the Quran says, the creator of the heavens and the earth, how should he have a son, seeing that he has no consort, and he created all things? The doctrine that Muhammad rejected, namely that God the Father should consort with a human female to sire a son, and that these three should then be worshipped equally as gods, would be rejected by any Christian. All right, guys, let me ask this question. Was this misinterpreted or do you think what this man said is right? Because based on what he read in the Quran, that doesn't mean there's Trinity. Jesus only asks, did I ever say I am God? He, he asks the question. That does not imply that the Trinity involves Father, Mary, and Jesus. I don't know, maybe he misinterpreted that Quran verse. Based on my understanding, I feel like it was misinterpreted. And because of that statement, you know, he just concluded that that is where you can find the Trinity from the Quran. So let me know your own point on this matter. What do you think it is? What this man said about the Quran, about Prophet Muhammad, about there being Trinity in the Quran? Is it true? And the passages, the passages that you just read, how can you interpret that passages? Like in my understanding, I feel like that passages were interpreted wrongly because Jesus was trying to make sure that they don't give him all the glory. He was just trying to stop them from praising him because to him he's not God. The only person you can praise is God. You know, he was just sent by his father, God, but he's, he's not God. So let me know your understanding based on this video. Based on my understanding, I feel it was misinterpreted and I don't, I don't think there's Trinity. Because if there's definitely Trinity, a lot of Muslim scholars would have said it, they would have given us, you know, and explained it. And the Quran would have said it directly, word for word. That Even though, yes, in the Bible, it's not said directly that the Trinity... There's no verse that said, oh, the Trinity are the Father, you know, Jesus, Holy Spirit, God. They didn't say it in a particular verse. But we tend to, you know, Christians tend to understand that, you know, it all comes, they are all one. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God are all one. 
You get it. So let me know your point of view regarding this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.